At a ceremony in Canberra, U.S. Ambassador Arthur B. Culverhouse celebrated his country's ongoing alliance with Australia and the achievements of our female leaders. First the medal. <laughs> Presenting Minister for Foreign Affairs and Women, Maurice Payne, with the US Mission Australia Award for Leadership Excellence. She has been instrumental in Australia's leadership and standing up for human rights in Hong Kong and Xinjiang, in confronting and countering foreign interference, disinformation and cyber aggression, and in coordinating a cooperative multilateral response to help the international community through the COVID crisis. The award was established to honour the 75th anniversary of former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt's visit to Australia during World War II. An elbow bump doesn't really cover it, does it? <laughs> its most recent recipient paying homage to another pioneering woman. Maurice Payne addressing the results of the US election while accepting her award. It's been a great deal of commentary about US politics lately. The fact is that 150 million people turned up to vote. Democracy is alive, well and kicking in the United States. She maintains the US-Australia alliance has been strengthened despite 2020's challenges, including COVID-19. With absolute confidence, this will continue under the administration of President-elect Biden from January. Our alliance, the alliance between Australia and the United States, has been a force for good in the world for decades. And I'm confident that our best decades lie before us. The two representatives also noted the rapid strategic change in the Indo-Pacific region and the shared commitment to solving and securing complex global challenges. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.